Greg's on his uh, inaugural and possibly last scouting trip with me. He uh, He's excited about the fact that we get to go home soon. Isn't that right, Greg? Yep. Give the folks a few words on what it's like to go scouting. Don't come. <laughs> Don't come. <laughs> SD card on this camera I've had soaking over a mock scrape that I made right here like 80 yards off the road up at the top of this hill. I'm going to go up to the top of this hill. There's a little ditch that goes right up into this little piece of timber. It's a doe bedding area where I think bucks are bedding along the perimeter. And I think they're sitting there and then they're going to go get up scent check, go check their scrapes, stuff like that. And uh, so I made a mock scrape in there and I'm hoping that... Uh, um, there's been bucks in here using it already. If there hasn't, I'm going to swing around and come up and get in the middle and do an observation set. See what I need to do maybe this afternoon or tomorrow. So let's get after it, baby. Yeah. 
so I can kind of observe and see where they're coming out of. If I don't see anything else in the next couple hours, I'm going to go down to the road and then go up that same hill that he came off of and look for sir, any uh, fresh signs, graves, rubs, any evidence that there's a reason why he was in there or if he was just a random bug coming through cruising.
of a sudden I was covered up with deer. I had buck, a buck, the big buck running over here, and he's raking and doing rubs, and I had does all around me. I couldn't move. And then when I heard him grunt, and then I saw the doe go that way, I decided to throw a grunt out, even though I had a doe right here underneath me. And um, it worked eventually. I thought I thought he was going to follow this other doe through the thick stuff, but he came right to me, and I popped him. And I'm pretty sure he's dead. Holy shit, dude. I haven't, I haven't got down yet. I was just calling you to find out what you were doing. I first saw him grunting over here. There was does right here after I did my interview. <laughs> and then he went through this thick stuff. And a doe was right here. And I heard him grunting. And another doe went this way. So I grunted to him and he came right here and I, I shot him. There was a, a small buck behind me while they were up here. I was just covered up in deer, dude. footage and hell yeah big old gray old man buck off two of his points. That's all right. He's got a good frame on him. Coming through in here through the dark looking and I knew that the wind was going to be heading to the east. So I had all this cover right here and this entrance behind me even though I didn't like walking the path in. I was hoping that uh, I could get away with it, and I did. And uh, the wind kept staying steady that way, and all the deer, he come through grunting behind these does, but he went around the thick stuff and was going up that way. And another doe was in going through there, and there was a doe standing right here, and I heard him grunting, and I thought he was heading back in there, so I threw out a grunt, and this doe right here, she was staring, but you can see I'm really well hidden up in that tree. So she st I had to sit real still, and I wasn't sure what where he was at. And all of a sudden, I see him come through, and I shoot him right here, and he runs and he dies right there. So what a hunt. Booner Extraction Team Johnson. We've decided to rename the Booner Extraction Team to, what was it? In-Betweener Extraction Team. In-Betweener Extraction Team. Somewhere between... Pope and Crockett and Boone and Young, you know, right there in that 130 to 145 range. That's where we like them. Not too heavy to carry. Oh, those, they're still heavy. This is probably like a, <laughs> I don't know, probably maybe. Knowing him, it could be a very well 12-year-old 400-pound deer. Is, that's his MO. So. <laughs> yeah, I like the ones that, you know, 
nobody else really wants. Yeah, you're that's, not. That's gonna, like my motto. You're not going to pay six hundred dollars to mount it, but you are going to waste five hours of your life getting it out. Of <laughs> yes, yes. Amen, brother. All right, let's get this. Let's get this guy cut up, and uh, you know the rest is history. So. We did get stopped by a guy in the parking lot that wanted to talk to us for about three hours trying to ask us where we shot it and everything else. So he, we, of course uh, he knows he thinks it's a doe in the opposite direction. So Yeah, we narrowly avoided danger or uh, detection I should say. So So uh, first time ever at the Casey's redneck uh, uh, diner of choice most of the time after the hunt and run into a couple of uh, good sit fans and they got some free swag so we appreciate it man yeah we love the videos they're hardcore hunters too so uh, they made me feel like a star for a day so anyway we'll see <laughs> you guys awesome. out there yeah appreciate it. what do you think what is that you gotta get her face what is that huh Whoa, dude. I can't do nothing with you.